Legend of Total War here with part 37 of my Total War Attila Let's Play campaign as the Huns. On the last episode we defeated a combined uh, combined effort of the um, Burgundian and Visigoth forces and now these guys need to keep heading west. Uh, sorry, east. Keep getting my shit mixed up. Okay, so make sure that they can encamp because they still need to recover a few guys. These guys do as well. Where are we going to put them? If we're lucky... Yep, they can just make it over here. What we'll try and do is merge some of these units here and just recruit new ones. Because otherwise it's going to take too long to recover. Our replenishment rate's too low. Good. Okay, so... We've got Hunnic Mounted Warband. Let's try merging these guys. Okay, so that merged. Um, we've got Step Mounted Brigands. Uh, Hunnic Mounted Bows. Okay, alright, that was easy. Okay, and then we've got Hunnic Mounted Warband. Get two of those. One of those. Is this the one with the Fletcher? No. So, it's not going to have as much missile damage. Uh, missile ammunition, whatever. Um, actually, we've got too many. We've got a lot of melee troops here as it is. In this one here, well, I suppose there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, it's just unbalanced, so yeah, keep it as it was. Okay, and you. want you to come down here. Okay, so that you are in... Hang on, where is the black lines over there? So that you're on a different territory. So there's no rivalry penalties. I mean, you don't have anything to replenish, but still. Um, okay, we've got assassin is fucking elephants. It's the first time I've seen elephants in this game. Bloody hell, assassinates are powerful. Now, next month will be winter, so they're bound to be taking attrition if they're going to follow us down this way. You can see that the uh, Macromans actually have a uh, an army out here, so defeating them here won't actually yield anything. Now, let me just see these guys are not at war with everyone else. How much money are they making me? They're actually making me a little bit, so... I mean, I really shouldn't leave them alone. But destroying them here is just not going to do anything. So what I want to do is start heading north. Okay, so... Can we merge these two? No. What kind of mercenaries are available? We've got, I don't like those. They're too expensive and they're not... They don't have enough ammunition. They're low range. Um, what can you recruit? We can get Hunnic Horse Archers. Okay, so I want you to go further north. We want to be taking out the Saxons next, I think. Even though I know that they'll just turn Horde. And also all these... Danish shit, or the, sorry, not Danish, um, Viking shit up here. Get rid of them. So, what's the fastest way over here? This way. Then that's the way we need to go. That person is not blocking your way, you should be able to push it over. Okay, good. Camp down there. Um, what can we build? Um, we can upgrade some of this stuff, or we could wait a couple of turns. Probably just prefer to get that under underway. Get that done now. Uh, let's see, you guys, we're heading north now, aren't we? So I'm, I'm just going to leave the uh, these guys here for now. I'm not going to go destroy them. Uh, you'll need to wait here for another turn, though. Good, you can get into the region. Hopefully these are different provinces. I think they are, so... If I look here, this is Lupferdum, and this is, it's all Lupferdum, oh well. So we still get a rivalry penalty, but that's, it's okay, they're currently getting a rivalry penalty. Also, I am noticing a lack of my agents over here, so these guys aren't protected. That being said, we're going to get um, champions here soon, we just need to wait for this. Okay, now you need to recruit that additional unit. I'm tempted to actually disband 
that. Just get some step raiders. They'll have a lot more experience as well. Those guys are... Yeah, those guys are... Okay, yep, get rid of them. And them. Grab two step raiders. And a hunter horse archer. Good. So I think, uh, yeah, the best way to handle some of the situation now is instead of just waiting ages for replenishment, just to recruit new troops. Just merge them and just keep moving, because otherwise we're just going to be here for too long trying to kill tribes that'll just never die. I've got the money to sort it out anyway. <coughs> okay, now, um, got my agents over here. I want to try and assassinate this guy. Fairly low chance of success, but it might work. Utterly failed. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot. Ah, whatever. What's your chances of success? 32%? No, we'll have to wait until next turn then. Um, just stay over here and just use your ability. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuck. Alright, and you come over here as well. You try to get rid of... I oh, know that, that goes too far away to really be a bother. So, come over this way. So Illyria, they seem to be moving their armies up north, maybe to hunt us down. Well, whatever. We also need to get to the Visigoths as quickly as possible and destroy them. Also, Parthia is here. I'm going to try and get rid of them at Constantinople. Anyway, let's move on. Because we need to start really hitting down on the, uh, the Sassanids as well. But that being said, we, we kind of need more power to do it. The problem that we've had with the, the Sassanids is last time we fought them, was that we were already diminished, and it was four stacks up against two that were diminished. So, obviously we didn't stand much of a chance. We actually did manage to kill more of them than they did of us. And the battle didn't even go that well. So if we were able to fight them on equal footing, as in maybe two stacks versus two stacks, then we'd win. I'm confident of that. But they seem to keep these big-ass stacks together. Now, those three stacks they've got in Massilia or Acrea Sextia, whatever it's bloody called, that could be beaten, I think, by two of my stacks, not by one. But they'll probably try and isolate my guys and uh, kill them. So the Assassinid's a bit of a coward, cowardly bunch. I'm always fucking against my odds. I think that army there just got absolutely hammered by agents. Fucking jutes. We need to get rid of them. <laughs> Wavering loyalty. Okay, we need to fix that up. What's this? Defamation. Um, can't have that. Buy it off. Okay, so it's winter now. Making less money. Uh, okay, someone needs to become a glorious subjugator again. You, Ruga, good. Deal with that. Okay, we also. Shit, we're losing balance of power a little bit. It's not a big deal until we start to get to, like, weak. But I would rather be respectable. Anyway, we've got to deal with this guy's poor loyalty. Why is he lo disloyal? He's the heir. Spurned. What's wrong with you? You're the faction heir, you fuck. Arrogant. Fears savage barbarians. Likes Roman. This guy's an idiot. He's part of my goddamn faction. Which is annoying. Anyway. You've got no influence left. You've got some. The best people to, to do the secure loyalty are the wives, I suppose. I think we're going to need to try and adopt one of these guys into our family. Alright, it'll probably have to be Attila that does it. Okay, so that guy's got 52... 
influence, we'll grab him. Attila's having some bastard children, because I tried heaps of times to try and get a wife, but they never took. What do we got over here? We got the uh, the Visigoths. But we're, of course, in Italy, we're on a little bit of attrition land, but um, I don't know what's going on with them anymore either. We should probably try and keep an eye on the Sassanids. How'd you go? Ready for action. Oh, he didn't get hammered. That's good. Kind of feel like you guys need to just stay put for the uh, end turn. Just because of the severe weather conditions. I think you need to stay put as well. Yeah, because we really don't want to be taking winter attrition. These guys could probably deal with it a little bit. Because when we get to about here, stop taking winter attrition. So just move a little bit over here. Get moving. See, it's not much. Guides my steps. And just stay right... Hang on. Let me see here. This, this region here... Verona, when does it become Aquilia? Where's the black line? Should be roughly around there somewhere. You can't get over there, can you? You can just make it, that's good. We camp there, because what I'd like to do is have someone in the province of Verona here. So that if they are attacked by someone, which is unlikely anyway, you're not going to get too badly hurt. Okay, Attila. Unfortunately, there's no way of getting into this, going west, sorry, east, without um, getting some sort of penalty, I suppose. So I'd prefer it, let's see, how far can you go? I'd prefer you be up front, because you're up, no, you can't go that far. You've got to cross the river. Well, will go as far as, oh man, that's massive bloody attrition. Shit. Oh so, well, you're probably not going to get into a fight. Okay, maybe just come over here a little bit more, because they're in the same region now. So those two will be in the same same region. It's a full strength, right? Yep. Ready for action. These lips move. For the prize. Yeah, whatever. Okay, um... Ready for action. Agents. I don't have any agents out this way. How can I help? Okay, priest. I want you to keep an eye on the Sassanids. They're probably around here somewhere. You guys need you to come up here. Try and get rid of this goddamn agent of theirs. 51% chance. Come on, just just get it out of my sight. You don't have to kill it, just wound it if you have to. Because I want to get them, get my guys better skilled. Successfully killed him. Okay, good. There's a level 10 agent dead. Not concerned about them. Just maybe scout ahead a little bit if you can. Up this way. These guys can't move. What we can try and do is build something though. Uh, growth should be quite high. Okay, so we can upgrade this to Royal Yurt Builder. Yes, do that. That'll help grow this, the, uh, the horde. Okay, so this can build something new now. They've already got plenty of food, so I wouldn't really bother with an additional surplus. Uh, what we need is... They've already got that, so that's good. Hunnic Devil Archers, I think that's what I want to be getting. Let's see, so what does Communal Ground offer? 30 from reserves, growth when encamped, growth when encamped. Holy shit, that's not too bad. It doesn't provide, it doesn't um, have any penalties at all. Wealth from animal husbandry buildings. Hmm. And there's growth when encamped. Fuck, there's all these things I didn't know about. Uh, wine distributor. None of these things have penalties. Except for this one. Nomadic fairgrounds. Wealth from industrial. Oh yeah, I know about this. It's okay. Um, Warriors yet? No. 
Herder's Yurt. We've already sorted out some of that stuff. Um, Elder's Yurt. You've got that one. So there's no need to build another. And then there's Artisan's Yurt. So we've already got a cloth maker. We could probably get another one. We've got the Artisan's Carpet and whatever. Yep. Let's see. So we could possibly get another Royal Yurt Builder. Cloth maker. Or wagon maker. See, we've been focusing largely on industry, so we should have something that's going to increase industry, which is wealth from industrial buildings plus 15%. That increases commerce. The growth when encamped from animal husbandry stuff. You know what? I'm just going to go straight for another, um, another cloth maker. How are we going for uh, integrity? Integrity is still good, but buildings are starting to become a bit of a problem. Basically, if we took out all the wars, we would be losing seven a turn. So the next one here will need to be a commuter ground. Hopefully, if I can just fucking remember about that. That'll be nine, yep, nine. Uh, okay, yeah, you're fine. Yep. What do you think I've gone through all these? Yeah, I need to get as much money as possible. The more money I have, I could probably afford to get another army soon. Which will, I think it will cost me like 14 growth. It's okay, go start somewhere. Okay, this technology is being finished. It doesn't really provide me with anything that useful. Just recruitment cost reduction, which isn't really an issue anyway. But that's what I want to be going for. That extra 10% ammunition is going to make battles a lot easier. Especially against the Romans and things like that, which have lots of armoured units, but that just... I don't know, that actually have high morale or whatever. Our struggle will end badly and with little honour for anyone. My elders such as peace. You know what, I'm going to accept this because... Oh, let me just see. Yeah, it's moderate. Well, let's see if they'll accept the standard one. Ah, uh, whatever. Because it could be good to just get some of these wars away, like stop their agents from coming at us. I don't think the Vandals really have any agents though. I don't know why they keep asking for peace. What's going to be annoying is last turn we didn't receive any sort of penalties from them and we weren't going to move anyway. But if this turn we receive penalties then that's just going to be annoying. Obviously these guys didn't move at all. You do not want to be moving around in winter now. It's it's too cold up here. Everyone's going to take attrition. And when they take attrition, it's a lot. At least not until we're immune to winter attrition, which is unfortunately a little while away. Faction destroyed Armenia. Okay, that's good and bad. Bad in that the fact that they were up against the Sassanids. Good in the fact that it's another fucking person destroyed. That I don't have to worry about. Good, all that stuff succeeded. And we received this tech. Oh, it's only 10 turns, so that's good. That can also be done now. That only take one turn, but it'll cost me 10,000. That's more urgent, though. Then again, 15%. We're better, better to get that earlier, or well, sooner rather than later, I think. Might just go for that one first. It's only going to delay us by one turn. Yeah, we did get sabotaged. Because these guys were at near full strength. So that's irritating. You guys can, however, get to Teleferdom, but what about you? You can't make it. There's still a bit of winter attrition stuff over here, so you got to be careful. Ok, 
Okay, if you make it to here, let's just see how much attrition you take. It's not too severe. Okay, you're at... Uh, let's see, how are you going to catch up? Up through this way? How much winter attrition are you going to likely to take? Probably a bit, but we'll still be in allied territory as of here. So we'll just replenish that very quickly, I'm assuming. Yeah, hardly anything. But we can't move any further than that because uh, we need to keep building this. So we won't get them all the way there because we need these guys to back us up. Okay, so this region here is called... The Ferdum. And that one there is... Okay, so we'll get into a different region at the very least. There are some Franks over here, but they don't really concern me too much. I don't want to get too close. Just want to leave the option to retreat available, because these guys are all by themselves. Okay, let's... If we encamp here... We should be able to hit Tully Ferdum next turn. If these guys can. It'd be better to fight in summer anyway. Now let's try and merge these guys so that we can... It'd be just be so much quicker if we just... Got a new one. Step mounted tribes people. Just get rid of that one. Start again. Leave that as it is or else we leave ourselves too poorly defended. So those guys are costing me money for that. But I've got plenty of cash so it's not the end of the world. Uh, we need to put an end to these goddamn agents, or else they're going to hinder me all the way. Okay, at least he's wounded, so we don't have to worry about him too much in the near future. Okay, head up this way. Okay, no sign of the Sassanids. I want you to come around this way, show me what we'll be up against. And you come up this way. Okay, rivalry penalty, but we didn't get attacked or anything like that, so we're in good shape. And also, no attrition over the here. If we walk through here, we'll take a little bit. We need to be making our way towards Savaria. Okay, so probably just stay there. Uh, that takes attrition here for some reason. What if we went around this way? You could get into this province here. And you could probably still make it to Severia next turn. And you could still stay in this, actually. Why don't you move into this one over here? That way we're in different regions. You can still move a fair distance. Why don't you stand right about here? Probably take a little bit of attrition. Nothing too severe. That's good. And you, Attila. Come and back this guy up. And his, and his back here. Okay, so with the Armenians dead... Just looking at the Sassanids, who are their enemies? It's Lazika. Hopefully they're getting... Oh, it looks like they're actually starting to lose. Because I think they were getting... They were like number two a little while back. So the Sassanids just beat everyone. Really annoyed that those guys declared war on me. They were making me a lot of money. Okay, so food-wise, you guys could probably use a little bit more. We could upgrade the goat herd here. Just in case. Uh, let's see, because that's still going. Warlord's Yurt. Yeah, because that's going to consume food. You better get that going. So that'll finish one turn after that. Okay, what else we got going here? Wouldn't worry about anything. All looks, all looks acceptable. Okay, and in the politics section, only thing I want are the glorious subjugators. However, when they die or whatever, we want to make sure we've got guys ready to replace them. So that's him there. He should be able to be promoted. 
some of these guys here are just still a bit too young. Attila needs to win a few more battles so that he can uh, get some more influence. Okay, um, I think we're done here for this turn. Got to get a battle into us. But we've just got to be careful. I mean, going too far into winter attrition is just going to be a disaster. Summer's the time to attack and we'll be making our way up north to, to smash the rest of them. It'd be really nice though if the uh, if all these hordes went and fought each other, but they seem to be united against me. I forgot about this guy. My path is I don't see any Sassanids there. Okay, now they're just offering a regular peace treaty. I will accept that. If I can maybe lower the amount of wars I'm in, maybe they'll start fighting each other again. Because I think they're just very much united against me, which is the problem that I had in my first Rome 2 campaign. So we'll try not to get into shit with the, uh, with the Vandals. At least not yet. We'll deal with them another time. Hope they're going to fail. Because those seem like some pretty good agents right there. Well, at least this one here is. It's got like 10 stars by the look of it. By the indication of two big ones. And that's a level 4 one. So the Rugians want to have a fight with this. Where is their territory, by the way? Okay, um... Well, we got to hold this ground if we want to recover and keep moving. But this is a pointless army to fight, but we just got to do it. I can't auto-resolve it, so let's just fight these fuckers. Ugh, rainy day. That's alright, whatever. So we want to try and do this without taking many casualties at all. Of course, that's what the horse archers are for. Okay, now they've, they've got artillery. Um... I'll send the mercenary guys around this way to try and snipe them off. You guys get into loose formation in the meantime. I don't think they've got much cavalry, if anything. And they don't have any cavalry, so they can't really chase us. They'll leave those guys unprotected. They always do. And of course, they don't care about mercenaries. They can easily be replaced. In fact, they're somewhat expensive. Not hugely, not cripplingly so, but whatever. Okay, come on, shoot at this motherfucker over here, bitch. Okay, you're winded. Okay, they're coming forward. Okay, go for them. Okay, hang on, they're chasing after us, just wait. Let them continue to chase after us ahead of the army. You guys, maybe come around this side. Okay, the problem is this guy here is going to assist them, so we need to... Okay, now we can go back into tight formation and hit them. Okay, you, none of you guys need to be on loose formation anymore because, shit, uh, they guys are coming in very close. Uh, okay, actually, activate their uh, skirmisher ability by charging forward towards them. Oh, they're getting smashed. I don't care if they die. If sacrificing them to get rid of those onages is worth it. They're being attacked by the by the enemy general. Come on, take them down. Oh, and they're being shot by these. Oh, they're getting fucked up. Useless shits. They didn't even get their job done. And then that guy's just coming back. You better come back. So that was... Send them back in. See what we can do. At least we've distracted those artillery long enough to be completely out of range for now. And they're sending these guys in melee for some reason. Go chase them. Because they're weak. And then again, so are you. How's that going? You're taking him down? Somewhat, but then of course this guy's coming in. You might want to get out of there a little bit. Ah, oh, they're fucked again. Our men are breaking off. So this is not going fantastically. Those guys shattered now, but fuck the mercenaries. Useless gits. I'll hire some factional units. 
We haven't lost any men over here, to my knowledge. Okay, those guys, they're not on their artillery anymore, so that's good. They're, they're made useless. Okay, you guys, I want you to go and try and kill the general. Looks like we did some damage to him already. If he wasn't already damaged or something, I don't know. Keep shooting them. Oh, what did I just press there? Ah, oh, right. Just pressed F. Fuck that. Okay, um. You two, go take him down. You lot, charge in on the general. Except for you, just stay nearby. Just watch out for this, their uh, slingers. Keep shooting them, it's going alright. I don't feel that the absolute need to annihilate them at the cost of, you know, just trying to. If, if it's going to cost me additional casualties, just just win this. Okay, they bowled him over. I want to keep moving forward and uh, smash their slingers as well. Enemy general's dead, that's always a good sign. How you going here? You're almost done. Take him down. Someone took a lot of casualties. You run them down. I mean, we kill them if we can, but I'm just saying that. Priority number one is win the battle. Win the battle with few casualties, which it looks like we're going to do. Apart from, of course, that battalion that got annihilated. But um, that's just a mercenary unit that can easily be um, buy a new one. Okay, let's use flaming shot because it'll lower their morale further. Let's just get this done. So, nice quick battle. It's always good. Okay, just leave you. Keep running that down. How are you going here? You're done. There we go, with one. You guys stop shooting. In fact, everyone should stop shooting. Let's see if this works. I just want them to pick certain targets without me having to tell them what to do. Precisely, that is. Of course, we'll have to do a little bit of micromanaging. But overall, that's a good amount of them running away that we're now killing. It'll certainly be nice if we manage to destroy the entire army. Okay, we're done here. Oh, we just didn't manage to get rid of the onagers. Well, that's alright. Managed to recover 10% of our army, most of which would go towards our horse archers and shit, I suppose. And those other mercenaries, who cares about them? Just fuck them off. Yeah, just waiting for all the other factions. Okay, so there's other eastern factions that are still dicking around over there. We're quite a deal, a uh, fair amount away from them now. Okay, so 
enemy killed in battle. Okay, I don't think anyone of my guys got killed. So just gonna have a quick look at my agents. 3 3, very good. So, what's this here? This is an army of Mazun. They seem to have a fair amount of cavalry. It's alright. I mean, if we're gonna go take out the Visigoths, we do really need to take that down, but they'll just raise new armies. Factions of very, well, barbarian factions are very hard to get rid of in this. And you've really got to get a bit of luck going. Okay, so that's been done. Now let's head for this. Even though that would be really useful as well. But uh, uh, that's what I want primarily first. Yeah. Oh, geez, that'd be really good. So we'll go for that next. Extra 15% movement range, plus reduced fatigue rate. Who's this? They're not that strong of an army. It's not a full stack. Shit, they recovered quite a bit. Um, we are still, of course, in allied territory. There's mercenary step-mounted bows. They have cheaper upkeep, I think. Yeah. It might be an idea just to disband this motherfucker and... I oh, know, we'll come back to that. Okay, so over here, how, how'd you go? Okay, doesn't look like you actually succeeded in getting harassed. Yeah, they failed. Ready for battle. Um, I think they actually did get harassed. That's okay, we can all make it to Tullifodum. Hopefully we're not over our heads on this one. I've got a stack here. We can now get different siege equipment. So there's light siege towers, now there's medium siege towers. But they take even longer to build. I wouldn't bother with any of that shit. Um, of course I don't want to have to fight this manually. So, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'll come back to it. We definitely need these guys to show up either way. So if you came to here, even even there, you might be able to reinforce. Oh, doesn't have the red line there. There we go. Bring that in. And you, you got to level up. That's cool. Let's utilize that. Okay, still want you to encamp, of course. Encamp over here. Okay, so. Do we have to fight this manually, or can we auto resolve it? We have to manually resolve it. Because an auto resolve here could even lead to defeat, which is weird because we actually outnumber them. Oh, only slightly. So what have they got? I need to know if they've got any long range units. So they've got Nordic warriors. What have they got here? They've got they've got javelin men. That doesn't really concern me that much. So I'll do this. Okay, so it's a nice dry day, that's what I like, no adverse effects. Alright, last time this was a really good place to shoot them from, it's really tight. Okay, you guys, you're up first, I want you to blast your way through. Okay, you guys hang back, where are the reinforcements going to be coming from? Not too far away, that's good, hang back. How much ammunition do they have? Three? Yeah, whatever. Ten ammo. If they can get an additional ammo from that research and have eleven, that'll make a bit of a difference. Okay, uh, don't fire at will. Alright, first thing we need to do, I think, is destroy the watchtowers. Because if we destroy the watchtowers, these guys are hanging around there, so just be quick about it, though. And then I'm actually thinking destroying the gates is a good idea. Because they seem to, seem to dick around a whole lot with it. So that completely missed. Uh, we, at least we got some damage into them, but uh, I'm not liking that at all. You guys missed. If you guys can't destroy this shit, we have to leave. Because this is going to annihilate us and our light troops. I'm not liking the look of this. 
Okay. Stop. Okay, if you guys can't hit that, I'm really disappointed in you. Okay, what we're going to do is move a little bit closer. So we see their, their attack range is there. If that increases their accuracy by 1%, well then that might actually hit them. Who knows? Because they're only missing by small margins. Now what I might try and do instead is actually hit crossfire. Is then hit this one over there and this one on the other one. So they're not shooting them front on. Let's see if that goes a little bit better. So they've just used up two lots of ammunition and essentially not done much at all. Okay, that did some fire damage, but didn't destroy it. Come on. Alright, let's just, both of us aim for one. We can always use our archers to get rid of, get rid of that. This is the last fire shot for this. That's really fucking disappointing. You guys are pathetic. Okay, the gatehouse is almost destroyed. Okay, I'm going to get you to take one more shot on that. And you aim for this fort wall here. Now, actually, keep aiming for the watchtower. Okay, so that should be a flame. I got a better idea. Better idea. Stop, 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 stop. I got a better idea. What if instead we fired at the ground here and it just by accident hit them, sort of? See, the lines both intersect with the tower. We'll see how that goes. Obstructed, right. They, they don't understand what I'm trying to do. And if you're thinking, hey, what, Legend, why don't you try shooting manually? I'm fucking inaccurate at that shit. There's no way I'd hit it. Okay, we'll try that. Still missed. Missed by a fucking bee's dick. Okay, we've used up half of our ammunition, and we haven't really done much. We've killed a few of these guys, but that's not what these guys are for. We need to get rid of these towers. Inaccurate fucks, come on! Still hitting them, though. Completely missing. If I get any closer, they'll get shot. Okay, just one more shot required. Now I want you to destroy a fort wall here. Okay, that's a flame. Now you stop. I want you to destroy this fort wall. Don't worry about that. We'll get the uh, our archers to sort them out. Okay, you guys. Make your way over here. The enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. Come on, destroy a section of the fort wall. This is fucking pathetic. What have I got to do? It's not a small target. You guys shouldn't have a problem hitting it. Stop overshooting it. You inaccurate shits. I'm fucking furious at them. Alright. I, I can't go. You've got just enough ammunition. If all of your shots hit, which is not going to happen, but uh, I don't know, they might make it. Might get through. That, that's really pathetic. They only managed to do that much damage. One of our units can no longer fire. Oh, hang on. you just got to hit one of those shots after hit. I think they're going to do it. Thank fuck for... Okay, so we've got two, bre uh, two breaches there. That's good. Okay, you guys have no further use, hang back. Okay, let's reorganize. Okay, pure melee troops can hang back over here. Okay, so then. And all of these are missile cav. Okay, get the guys that are in orange together. Okay, green guys, flaming shot. Obviously what we're trying to do here, burn this other tower. And then, we'll focus on shooting the rest of these motherfuckers. Because they won't come outside of the wall. Ammunition wise, we've got heaps. So, really don't let me down on this. I can't stress how important 
it is that you guys perform. Okay, get in there. Come on, run in. Want this thing destroyed. Okay, I think that'll do it. Get back. Stop shooting. Yep, it's on fire. Leave it be. Get back. You're in orange. You stand back. Okay, so I don't want all of my guys shooting all at once, so I'm going to use groups of five. Okay, so this first five, once that tower's been destroyed, which won't take long, Okay, we use flaming shot because they've got cavalry. What we're doing here? Now, one of the main reasons I wanted to destroy this was so we've got visibility over here. Which we do now, so that's good. Okay, so it cost us a few guys. All the deaths you see around here, that's because of the Onager's failure. Okay, what we want to do here is aim for their cavalry. Well, actually, we want to aim for their general, but start with this, it'll be fine. Not being shot at at all, so we'll just have a bit of a skirmish. It's actually good that they're there and not here, because we can shoot over everything and not waste any ammunition. And because they're all bunched up together like this, we're not taking many casualties. Oh, that's in us, sorry. Not taking many casualties, but we're also doing more casualties. Okay, that's enough, they're shattered. Okay. Regular fire. The general here. I want you to kill him. Okay, you'll have to shoot at a high angle, but I think you can do that, yep. He's in loose formation. I'm sure eventually he'll start taking some damage. Yep, good. Because if he breaks, then we don't have to shoot these guys as much before they shatter. And then, well, obviously as they shatter, we don't need to run them down or anything, because if we win here, they all die. Okay, just let them do the thing, just speed it up. All we're looking for is the general's death. It's going quite well. Quite happy to use up all of my ammunition here to take this guy down, or even more than that. Okay, he's down to half numbers now, half strength. I think the general's right there. Okay, they're wavering. Broken, but we haven't killed them yet. A unit's ammunition is spent and it can no longer fire. Ah, fuck, it's not what I wanted to press. Piece off. Okay, we've lost sight of him. Okay, you've run out of ammo. Hang back here. Alright, you guys still have ammo. We'll have to wait for their general to come back, but in the meantime, feel free to just shoot these bastards over here. Okay, aim for the, the elite Saxon javelin men, because I reckon they could be a problem if they if they realise if all they got to do is put themselves on the wall here, they'll be in range to shoot me, but it doesn't look like they want to do that, which is good for me. Also, if that general leaves the city, I want to know about it. So you guys aren't of that much use. I want you to scout over there. Let me know if he leaves the city. And then I want you to run him down if he does. Okay, guys, just shoot whatever you want. You can use this. I usually don't use it because it makes them really tired. But in this instance, where they don't need their fatigue, feel free to do so because it increases our missile damage by 50%. I think we will be seeing their general again. Over here somewhere. Because we didn't kill that many of them. I think he was just sick of being shot. The enemy 
Okay, watch out. These guys are coming up there and they've got javelins. Just want to stay out of their range. Who's this over here? Okay, good. You should be able to shoot them without any real difficulty. Yep. I mean, a lot of shots are being wasted on the walls here, but we're still able to get rid of them. We've got plenty of ammunition. We can... Yeah, we'll be fine. Come on, shatter them. Don't just break them, shatter them. Good. Okay, you can stop shooting then. A little bit closer. I don't see their general. He might have, may have already gone somewhere else. Actually, you guys should come back over here because it looks like they're bringing their units over here. They're obviously, ones that are over there, I can't shoot. See, they would have got 100% fatigue, but because they're so fit, they just recover it straight away. What's going on over here? Oh, I got them too close to that tower. It's alright. It's only a couple of casualties. Ah, oh, there he is. There's the tool. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, you guys are almost done for. more shots and you're done. Okay, we're done here. Oh, hang on. You're done. Get back. Time for the next load of five. Okay, but of course there's the enemy general. Uh, if he was standing around here somewhere, I'd, I'd shoot him, but he's, he's not in good range. So it's unfortunate that we didn't kill him before, but uh, it's alright. We've still got enough ammunition, I think, to really thin these guys out a whole heap more. Alright, shoot there, because I reckon that's a good target. And they're flaming shot. We don't need that, we need standard shot, because they're armor. Uh, we'll block a lot of those flames. That's perfect. They're getting all of these guys shot. That's what I want to see. Okay, they're shattered. Don't aim for them. Aim for this elite Saxon javelin men that just keep wandering around like a bunch of idiot ants. Look at these guys. Oh, we're getting shot. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, just wait for it. Yep, shoot these Nordic levy. It's better than nothing. I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer to shoot anyone. Okay, there's more elite Durgath spearmen, whatever, get rid of them. So the Huns are only good if this is a small scale battle. If they had if they had multiple stacks here, this would be next to impossible. We wouldn't have enough ammunition. Okay, good. Another shattered unit, that's what we want to see. Keep it up. Okay, elite Nordic warriors, yeah, take them down. Now the reason I don't put like all of these guys here, because obviously they'll it just be a big mess. It's one little bit at a time. There's not enough not enough space for all of these guys to shoot. You could also start burning down the place. Make them shatter before you stop shooting. Good. They shattered. Aim for them. Good. They shattered. Next. Oh, hang on. They're about to shoot. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. back. Okay. Fire at will. 
Preferably that guy, of course. Actually, you two are out of the fight. We've still got plenty of time left, so we don't have to worry about that. Plenty of time to kick their, their ass. They've all run out of ammo. I'll bring in the next lot of four. Because this guy hasn't used up much of his ammo yet. Well, he's used up most of it, but uh, he's still got plenty. Okay, they've brought more reinforcements over here. Good, more motherfuckers to kill. Still got plenty of ammunition. I've probably used up a little bit more than a third. The enemy have rallied their units. Okay, these are likely to be on flaming shot as well, so go standard. Uh, careful, if you get too close, they'll shoot. Damn elite warriors, just bloody break you fucks. Okay, that should do it. Okay, you're done. Get out of there. All on regular fire. Okay, you guys can fire at will. Preferably, yeah, get rid of them so you can get a little bit closer. You can shoot these guys. Okay, they're broken. Just stop. And for them now. Good. This is going fantastically well, but what can the AI do? If they come out and fight me, of course I'll just skirmish, actually. They're coming over here. Pull back. Because we can outrange them. They've got no archers. That's the real killer for them in this battle. And I'm making use of every advantage I've got. Basically, it's just range. And severe amounts of ammunition. Come on, shatter them. Good. Aim for something else now. Okay, take him down. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Okay, there can't possibly be many enemies left. I'm gonna finish them off. Done. Okay, still here comes. We've already shot these guys quite a bit. Hang on, you, if you run out of ammo, you can get back. I'm going to finish them off, and we've, I think we just got to take down the general. Come on, shatter it. Okay, good. Okay, let's go find that son of a bitch. Ah, wait, 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 wait. They've still got a complete Nordic levy battalion here. Uh, oh fuck, he's disappeared. Luckily they don't have javelins, so we can get a little bit close to them. Okay, there. Shoot it. I know this battle might seem a bit boring, but this is, this is just how the Huns have to fight, unfortunately. That's why I've been auto-resolving most assaults. I mean, seriously, what would you do differently if you're sitting there going, that battle was boring, legend. What would you have to do differently? Would you just charge on in here? You'd end up with a defeat. And then, of course, I'd have people saying, why didn't you just skirmish? Well, now I am skirmishing. 
Okay, there's still oh shit, there's still heaps of them. All right, still got. They eventually come out to the come out to play. That's all right. Take them down. I can't believe how many units they've got. I'm well past halfway ammunition, but I think they've lost most of their good units. Elite Saxon Javelin Men. Is that all they've got left? Apart from their general, who's really no a nobody. We should be able to beat him without too much difficulty. These guys here are coming back. That's weird. They've, they've actually got... Oh, shit! I'm being shot. I'm being shot. I'm being shot. Fuck. That's my own fault there. I'll just disband him and uh, train a new one. What's that? Step mounted bows. Well, I guess you get the upgraded unit then. See, they're all waving. Damn it. That all was going well up until that point there. I just didn't realize I was being shot. Did we shatter it? The thing is, we probably should have just gone to melee with it. That would have smashed it straight away. Because it's a missile unit. Their general shattered. Who's left? Got this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What are they doing here? They've got their own barricade stopping them. And we're done here. That went almost perfect. If it just wasn't for that one unit that I fucked up with. Oh well. Okay, now we come to the option is, if this is their last settlement, which I think it, it is. So, that was silly, but not the end of the world. Okay, well first thing we're going to do is sack it. So that, that technology that I got last time has obviously boosted the amount of money that I make, because that was a significant amount of cash. Um, if we think about the Saxons, is that their last, or their only settlement? Because if it is, yeah it is. If we subjugate them, well... Because uh, raising that settlement is not going to defeat them either. But we've got a place then for which we can sit around and get... Not sit around, but come into Denmark. Because these guys here, we need to annihilate them. We can always come back here and uh, get rid of the, the Saxons after we're done, if they cause us any grief. Oh, you can't encamp. Well, if you can't encamp, then obviously you're the one that's going to have to... Um, to to raise this uh to subjugate actually if you subjugate you don't don't have problems do you it's just unfortunate okay well we might actually just deal with that next time i'm pretty sure i'm going to subjugate them but uh, it just did the auto save there and this, this video has gone on for a while so once we've subjugated them we're going to go up north and destroy the the uh, all the viking bastards anyway like and subscribe part 38's next and don't forget to visit me on facebook see you next time fuckers